Welcome back. In this example, we are going to learn how to create a stem and leaf plot in Excel. So here I have fictitious data. This is amount spent in a week on stationary items. So here you can see the data ranges from 23 all the way to 452 and again to 20. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort this data. So I'm selecting the data set and under your home tab on the right hand side I'm going to sort it from smallest to largest. So in a stem and leaf plot there are two parts the stem and the leaf. So first we're going to create a column called stem. So here to grab the stem from our data set we're going to use the floor.math formula. The floor.math function rounds a number down to the nearest integer. So here in this case, for instance, we have 3. So we are going to divide that by 10 because in doing so, it results in 0.3. So using this function, it's going to round it down to 0. Okay, so let's get started. So here I'm opening up the floor.math function and I'm selecting my first data value divided by 10. So here you can see that it has rounded it down to zero. And let's do autofill and fill the rest of the columns. So here, for example, when we had a value of 452, by dividing it by 10, the result would have been 45.2. So what it did is it rounded it down to 45. So the next column is our leaf column. Now in order to grab our leaf for the stem and leaf plot, we are going to make use of the write function. So I opened up the write function, I'm selecting my first value. Here I'm going to specify that I want one value from the right. I'm going to autofill rest of the columns. Now if I had selected here instead of one, if I had put in two, let's see what happens. So here, using this write function, it has grabbed the last two digits from our value. So let me change it back to one. Let's do some formatting, selecting the entire data set, applying the grid lines. Now, of course, you could end here and continue manually to put together your stem and leaf plot. Since you have your stem identified and your leaves identified, you would then continue on to put it all together. So here you would put stem, leaf, and here, since zero has three numbers, you would put three, four, eight. And you would continue doing this uh, with number one. Since it has zero and two, you would put that together. And number two here has four digits, so you would again continue on. So this is one way if you were to do this manually. Now I'm going to show you another way you can create this using functions in Excel. So the two functions I'm going to use is the repeat function and the counter function. Now the repeat function is pretty straightforward. For instance, REPT is the function. So when I open it, I select say number three and I specify how many times I want it to be repeated. So if I put five here, I get three five times. The next is of course the count if function. In the count if function, you specify the range, so the entire data set for instance, and then you specify the criteria. You want Excel to only count if this criteria is met. So for instance, if I put 45 here, it's going to count it once because in your data set there is only one value of 45. Okay, so we're going to make use of these two functions and we're going to create our stem and leaf plot. I put the function right here on the left hand side um, it looks complicated, but it's really not. Once you get the first statement, the rest of the statement is just copy and paste and just changing few numbers. So I'll show you how you can do that. We do need the stem column, so I'm just going to keep that. So let's create another leaf column here. So we're going to begin with the repeat function. 
So here you're going to say zero, okay? And once it's put together, I'll uh, translate it for you. So if comma, here you're gonna use the counter function. Open up and select the entire data set, comma. Here you're going to specify the range, so I'm selecting the stem value. Asterisk is your multiplication, 10 plus zero, and close bracket twice. Okay, so here the repeat function, you want the number zero to be repeated if this holds true. So for the second argument, for in place of the number of times you're using the counter, counter specifies the entire range. So you're saying in this data set, I want you to look and multiply my F2 value, which is zero. Zero times 10 is zero, plus zero, it will be a result of zero, okay? So here you're saying it repeats zero if this holds true. Now, once you have created this statement, you're just gonna copy it, use the and symbol, paste, and the values you need to change is the zero in place of that you have to put one, and here you have to put one. Okay, so here you're saying repeat the digit one if this holds true. So counting in your data set and then looking for this number. So zero times 10 plus one. So looking for number one, okay? And you're gonna continue doing this. So I'm gonna replace that with two. And here you're gonna put two and three and then three. So these are the two numbers you are changing. Oh, another thing, I must do self-referencing here. So if you do absolute self-referencing on the range, you can copy and paste this formula to the other cell. So let's go ahead and insert the dollar signs this is done to the range or the data set inside the counter function. Okay, so your first formula for the leaf should look like this. Repeat zero in quotation, comma, count if, and you select your entire data range, comma, F2 value, which is your first stem value, plus zero. And then you keep repeating it by changing the numbers. So one, and then in the end, plus one. Okay, and then two and plus two and don't forget the two brackets in the end otherwise the result will look incorrect so if this is done correctly when you press enter you should get three four eight so here zero has three values three four eight so that's what you see here so then we can copy and paste it to the rest of the cells so here the numbers look correct so three four eight in stem zero should have three, four, eight, okay? One should have zero and two, so there should be no repetition in the stem cell. So one way to fix this is you wanna hide the cells. So again, I'm gonna hide these two, because in the 20s, you should have only one. So again, your stem should not have repeating numbers. So this 34 is being repeated. So I'm gonna hide that. So now this looks correct. So we can hide this column as well. So your stem and leaf plot is what you see in columns F and H. So this is how easily you can create a stem and leaf plot in Excel. So in this video we went over two methods to create the stem and leaf plot in Excel.